Once a Widex customer, always a Widex customer. Or so they say anyway. The problem with this is Widex customers haven't had much to get excited about recently. It's been five years since their last platform update. Well, that's about to change. The purveyors of the most natural sound in hearing care are about to launch their new hearing aid, Allure. And I've been in Denmark to find out all about it. Essentially what the Widex sound philosophy is, it's all about capturing and maintaining natural listening experience. So Widex has always done things differently. While other brands focus on AI-driven noise reduction and aggressive feature stacking, Widex has kept its focus on one thing, natural sound quality. And that's why people love them. I've been fitting Widex hearing aids for over a decade, and while their technology has evolved, the core philosophy hasn't changed. Their goal has always been to make hearing aids feel as unprocessed and real as possible. And that's why Widex is so popular with musicians and people who care about pure, natural sound. They hear something in Widex that other brands just don't quite capture. But whilst Widex has always led the way in sound quality, they tend to be slower to modernize some features compared to competitors. And that's why Allure is such a big deal. It's their first truly new platform in years, designed to bring faster processing, smarter connectivity, and new features whilst keeping that signature Widex sound. And now that I'm back from Widex's headquarters in Copenhagen, I've had time to process everything that I learned about Allure. And there's a lot to talk about. At the heart of it is a brand new processing platform powered by the W1 chip, which Widex claims is four times faster than their previous Moment platform. And that extra power enables some of the biggest upgrades we've ever seen from Widex. Right now, Allure is launching with just one model, a rechargeable RIC hearing aid. So no BTEs, no cross, no custom in the ear models, at least not yet. And one of the biggest upgrades comes in how Allure handles speech and noise. Unlike some manufacturers that are using AI-driven noise reduction, Widex is sticking to their core approach, fine-tuning their signal processing to keep sound as natural as possible. The result is Speech Enhancer Pro, which analyzes 52 bands of sound in real time, reducing background noise without over-processing speech or removing natural environmental cues. Now, I tested it in Copenhagen and honestly, it felt incredibly smooth and very natural and there's no robotic edge and it doesn't squash environmental sounds in the same way other brands do. Now, one of the most important things to understand about Allure is the Pure Sound program because this is where things get really interesting. For anyone unfamiliar, Pure Sound is Widex's ultra low latency listening mode. Most hearing aids introduce a small processing delay which can make sounds, especially your own voice, feel slightly disconnected from reality. It's not something you might notice at first, but for people with mild to moderate hearing losses, that tiny delay can be a real issue. Pure Sound eliminates that problem by processing sound incredibly fast, so everything feels more immediate and natural. It's been a key feature in Widex hearing aids for a while, but in previous versions, it came with trade-offs. It disabled a lot of the noise reduction features, meaning it wasn't always the best choice in louder environments. With Allure, Pure Sound has had a major upgrade. It still delivers that ultra low latency sound, but now it includes more advanced processing, making it far more versatile in different listening environments. But, and this is really important, Pure Sound is not the only option. It's a program you can select, but you're not locked into it. Allure also includes Universal Mode, which is a more traditional Widex listening profile. Universal Mode uses all of Widex's standard sound processing, including stronger noise reduction and environmental adaptation. So if you're in quieter settings, pure sound might feel a bit more natural, but in busier environments, Universal Mode might be the better choice. I tested both, and while pure sound still delivers that incredibly clean, immediate sound, I noticed the feedback system kept recalibrating, which was a bit distracting. Now, that could just be because these weren't fully programmed for me. So I'll hold off judgment for now, but universal mode felt more balanced in my demo and I actually found myself preferring it. As always, this will be down to personal preference and the listening environment. Speaking of feedback, this has always been a weak spot for Widex. Compared to some competitors, they've struggled. 
And though in my experience, a lot of the issues come down to dome selection and fitting rather than the system itself. But even then, Wardex's feedback suppression hasn't been the strongest. With Allure, they've introduced adaptive dynamic feedback control, which Wardex claims offers significant improvement. I tested an open fit and I had zero feedback issues, which is a good sign, but this is something I'll be watching closely over time. Wardex has also expanded its sound classification system. The W1 chip can now recognize 11 different environments and automatically adjust the settings. They've even added a beat detector mode designed for musicians and music lovers, which should make a difference for people who listen to or play a lot of music. Streaming has had a big upgrade too. The W1 chip now separates streamed audio from real world sound, so there's no interference between the two. That means clearer calls, better music streaming, and less distortion when switching between different audio sources. But here's where things get frustrating. Some accessories just don't work with Lure. Take Sound Assist, a hugely popular accessory that works as a remote microphone, a telecoil, a table mic. It's not compatible at all, and that's a big problem. Sound Assist was only released in 2022, and a lot of our Widex users rely on it in challenging listening environments. The fact that it doesn't work with Allure means that anyone upgrading loses a key part of their setup. And the worst part, Widex hasn't confirmed if support is coming, so that's something they really do need to address. So is it going to live up to the hype? Only time will tell. We're excited to try this out, and we've already got plenty of customers always asking about Widex, so we won't be short of opportunities to put this to the test. And as soon as we do, I'll be back here to share everything. If you want to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to hearing technology, make sure to subscribe to the Alto YouTube channel. And if you've got questions about Widex Allure, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be answering as many as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.